please. Nah, just kidding. What's going on? It's for excuses. And hey, today we're going to be going over uh, how to spend your contribution points to make money off them. You know, you can spend your CP on like, you know, houses and stuff like that. You know, worker lodging, you know, getting uh, getting storage spaces, all that good stuff. But today we're going to be going over how to make money with them. So say that you've paid a wind all the all the expansions in your cities like uh, someone I know has. Um, not me, of course. But, you know, someone. And, yeah. You just have all that CP laying around and you're like, what am I going to do with it all? Well, today I'm going to show you. Now, the first thing is going to be farming. All right? So your first 100 contribution points, you want to spend them on a farm. Okay? Now, the way I do my farming is I make stuff that I use for cooking. All right? So, over here, we have haystacks. And then this one's haystacks. All right, over here, we have special onions, special onions, peppers, peppers, garlic, garlic, hot peppers, hot peppers. And so the way I go about this is like you see these five little farms down here in the bottom. This one, you use the F5 function to improve the plant breeding or whatever. And then you take your seeds from this side and you replant them here and then you place the other ones you get here and then you can just collect for you know like say the special peppers you just hit r and you gather them and then that's how you use them in cooking and you'll never run out of seeds or anything like that so that's going to be your first 100 contribution points and then now we're going to get into the nodes and just full disclaimer i'm not i'm not choosing nodes that necessarily make the most money just for selling raw materials off the marketplace. I'm choosing the nodes based on what I use and you know what what's useful, right? So I wouldn't say there's an exact way to set everything up, but we're gonna go ahead and start from Olvia. So you're gonna take Casta Farm, Olvia Coast, Balanos River Mouth, Coastal Cliff, and in Coastal Cliff, you're gonna grab the the iron. Alright, Coastal Cave, grab both of these bad boys. All right, now we're in Velia. Okay, now that we're in Velia, we're going to grab this island here, Louisvano, or however you say it. Then you're going to grab the fishing thing here. Grab this island, fishing thing. This island, fishing thing, and that's as far as you need to go. I just have it going all the way out here to Racid for the Sacrius, so I can have a T10 node there. But you guys don't need to do that unless you want to have a T10 node. And then by all means do it. <clears throat> Alright, so back in Velia now. So you're gonna grab Fento Farm and you're gonna grab the chicken meat production. From there, the Iwas Hill, and you're gonna grab the Ash Sap. And you guys will see, like we're gonna prioritize every sap. I think we have every sap node in the game that isn't uh whatever this fucking new sap's called and the new city and I don't think we have the thornwood sap thing. Yeah, we don't. Just because they're expensive and they're not the most useful. And if you want them, just go gather for them. But yeah. All right, back from Velia. We're going Bartali Farm. Chicken meat. We don't grab potatoes. It's a waste of CP. You can just buy all that stuff off the marketplace. It's dirt cheap. Okay, Tuscany Farm. Not grabbing anything there. Forest of Seclusion. Not grabbing anything there. Ancient Stone Chamber. This is a big one. We're going to grab the Excavation Node. This gives us Trace of Earth and Trace of Ascension, both of which are super useful in Alchemy. And if you want to sell them off the marketplace, I'm not mad at that because your boy needs them. All right. So from there, I go Bandit's Den, Baragi Den, Northern Plain of Serendia, Lynch Farm. Uh, over here, we're just doing Trace of Savagery and Trace of Hunting. This one's not necessarily great anymore just because both of these traces are super cheap, but I grab them anyway. Alejandro Farm, Honey Production. So we're getting the cooking honey, very useful. And now we're into Heidel. So from Heidel, we're going to grab... And, all right. So, all right, we, we can grab this plantation here, Eastern Gateway, Castle Ruins, and this is for the maple sap. I guess we'll just keep, we'll, we'll, we'll work our way over this way, and then we'll come back. All right, so we'll do it like that. All right, Kama Temple, 
Awakening Ruins Excavation. Again, this is Trace of Earth and Trace of Chaos. Trace of Chaos isn't great anymore, but Trace of Earth is really useful. Canyon of Corruption, Elric Shrine, Bloody Tree Knot, White Cedar Sap, Big Poggers, Medaya, Northern Highlands, White Cedar Sap, and Maple Sap, also Big Poggers, Stone Tail Wasteland, Acacia Sap, Bloody Tree Knot. Uh, going back down, you're going to grab Auto Farm, Mains Hideout, and that'll give you access to Tariff where you can have workers and you can be collecting stuff over time. All right. Uh, Stone Tail Horse Ranch. We're just going in there to connect. All right, we have Azula Highland. We have Omar Lava Cave, which I actually used to have these two invested in for Powder of Time and Powder of the Rifts. Both of which not super useful anymore. So what you could do is just go to Highland Junction to Altanova Entrance and you don't have to invest in these two, which is eventually what I'll do when I have some contribution freed up. I, mean, I can't change it right now because I have my workers working. So that's the reason behind that. All right, Abandoned Mine, grab both these two and then you're in Altanova. Now, I used to have everything running out here in the desert. It's all useless. I tell you that right now. It's all useless. Like if we look at the price of this, it's pretty high, right? That's what you'd think. Yeah, but it doesn't really sell. So we don't really need it. Only thing you want to look for out here is Ariha Palm Forest. And you're going to grab your coconuts. All right, that's it. All right, heading back over to Sir India, looking at Glish. All right, so we'll just be going from Glish here. So you're going to grab Central Guard Camp, Glish Ruins for the excavation, Trace of Origin. Uh, still super useful. It's expensive to buy off the marketplace. It's used in some really useful alchemy recipes. Then you have Trace of Hunting. That's dirt cheap now. All right. Southwestern Gateway. I have this to have Bloody Monastery. There's nothing here, but I grind Bloody Monastery sometimes. All right. Brady Fortress to Orc Camp. Everyone should have Orc Camp at level 10. Pretty much best money in the game. All right, we went over Bragi then. You're going to grab Delphi Knight's Castle, DS Farm, and now you're connected to Calpheon, right? All right, so from here, we go Northern Wheat Plantation, Baronado Farm, and then to Breachy Ruins, and we're grabbing the Birch Sap. Heading down from Calpheon, Gabino Farm, Northern Kia Mountaintop, Funnel's Cabin, and this is going to give you Fur Sap. Rudum Sentry Post, Rudum Outstation, Tobar's Cabin, and then we're going to grab Mancha Forest. This is going to give you first up, Trace of Despair and Trace of Violence. Trace of Violence is really useful. All right, Abandoned Monastery, Trant Forest. This is going to give us Bloody Tree Knots, still useful. Lumberjack's Rest. This is going to give us Spirit Leaf. Um, you can just buy this off the marketplace if you want to save one CP, but that connects us to Trent where you can have workers and you can do all sorts of good stuff here. You can make crates, which is going to be what I'm going to get back into doing, but that's for another video. All right. So from Faunal's cabin, we're grabbing Bear Riverhead and then we're grabbing this mining for powder of the earth, Bear Downstream, Ruta, Rua Tree Stub. This is going to give us Trace of Despair and Trace of Forest. Trace of Despair is pretty useful, but you guys can skip this one if you want. That'll connect us to Bear. Then we have Longleaf's Sentry Post, and this will give us Cedar Sap. All right, so that's really all we have there. So starting from Old Wisdom Tree, we're grabbing Shady Tree Forest. This will give us Moss Tree Sap, which is okay. Sullen's Border, Thornwood Forest. And the reason we're grabbing that is for the Thornwood Sap. It's decent. Crypt of Resting Thoughts. This will be one of the massive pure magic nodes, and it produces Trace of Battle, which is the reason I still have it. All right, we're going Bahit Sanctum to Mountain of Division, and this is another massive pure magic node, but the real reason we have this one again is for the Trace of Violence. Okay, that sums that up, and now we'll be going from Grana, so... From here, I have Southern Campus Sylvia to Gaifen, and this is just for grinding. 
for that Grand Gyphon Underground. So we have Lake Flunder, um, Knockor Powder of the Earth, you take that one, Whitewood Forest, Hollow Forest, Knockor Powder of Time, again useful in Alchemy, Tooth Fairy Forest, this one I've had my Tinfoil Condom on for like however many years Cam has been out now because this Verelona has literally been useless in the game and I've had that node running since Cam Sylvia's pretty much came out and we have 67 in total so one of these days it'll be useful and this will be the the proof all right loopy tree forest we're gonna be grabbing the loopy tree sap here that's big money ash forest and stars end which will be our final mass node and it also produces trace of violence and trace of death so that was pretty poggers and yeah i think that is going to wrap it up um there are some new nodes in the new region where you can get the snow field cedar sap uh you know might be good might not be good personally i'd rather just go grab it gather it same with thornwood sap like it's not really worth having the cp there to me and yeah i think that's gonna wrap this up but i would say the biggest ones you guys want to look out for especially as you're starting are all the sap nodes because even if you don't want to use them for alchemy and you know hold on to them you can stall them for a lot i mean i'd recommend holding on to them but it's just me but yeah now you guys know how my shit is set up so if you guys found it useful please make sure to leave it a like and if you want to see other life skill content i guess let me know in the comment section down below otherwise i'm not going to make that shit but hey been your boy excuses and i'll catch you guys in the next one